with mercy all that the unborn me can be. 1972, a woman sits alone not knowing what to do, through tear glass eyes looks down at a positive pregnancy test. Just another testimony to how her life is a mess. You see, she was abused and threatened by a dangerous man, so thus compelled by fear, she ran, but not to a family, because he looked there first. So she fled Mexico to America, not expecting in nine months to give birth. From there, Tony got a job as a nanny, where she pinched and saved every penny, because Lord knows you don't get very many when life is hard. And when you're down, you're broken, you're beating and you're scarred, it's not easy to see your way out. Your fears take root, compelling you to doubt. You doubt if there's any kind of hope, or any kind of future for you, or anything that God said he could do. So out of her desperation, her and her boss had a conversation, in which a very cruel but new idea came. Abort the mission, or abortion, being its name. She said, I can take care of myself, maybe, but definitely not me, plus the baby. So an appointment is what Tony got. And a few days later, she pulled into the clinic's parking lot. And in between two yellow lines, she sat inside the car, and she thought of all the burdens, the struggle, and the pain. But keeping one child will change anything. So long, scared and afraid, compelled by a need for answers to an unknown but near gosh. And in the stillness of a world, she heard a small, simple, powerful word that said, tissue, it is inconvenient overall, but life is a lie. And we all start out small. So that was it. Tony pulled back on the gear stick and compelled by a new hope drove away. With the help of above, compelled by a crazy kind of love, Tony let that child stay. It's 1972. Tony's not alone in the world anymore, for she looks down at Rosa E. Jimenez, a baby girl knew. What Tony then did not know was that Rosie would grow to be strong, independent, free, fall in love one day, marry, have five beautiful kids, the second one, it's me. My youth pastor, my minister's wife, she shared the testimony of eternal life, and that's our true pro-life survival story. Written by God for the sake of his glory, you see, God above, compelled by love, he gave me the victory the day I was born. Where he looked down and he saw, with mercy all, that the unborn me can be. <laughs>